Oh, another lost run because of the hand of the king. What am I supposed to do? Well, hey guys and welcome to another tutorial for Dead Cells. Today I will teach you how to not die on hand of the king and beat it without any hits. Hand of the King is the final boss of the game and it has 3 phases and 2 transitions between them when he becomes invincible and you have to kill minions that he spawns. After you kill all the minions or 20 seconds pass, the boss will become vulnerable again and the battle will continue with Hand of the King entering a completely new phase where he will become more powerful because of the new attacks. The transitions are pretty much easy because you just have to kill some simple enemies. The first phase of the boss is quite simple, it always starts with that attack that can be easily avoided by going behind the boss. During this attack you can perform some attacks and deploy some traps. In this phase the boss has only 3 attacks, dash, uppercut and bombardment. The uppercut is the first attack I've been talking about, it can be parried with the shield or you can just roll behind the boss and you'll be completely safe. Dash is the second attack and during this attack the boss dashes into you and tries to throw you into spikes. It can be easily avoided by rolling through it or jumping over the boss, but as in the case with the uppercut, I recommend rolling because it's just safer than other tactics. Pairing is not great at all with this attack because you will parry the dash and you won't get any damage damage, but you'll still be thrown into spikes, so it's not the best idea. The bombardment is just an attack where the boss throws a lot of grenades, all of them can be parried or you can just run away from the boss. In the second phase the arsenal of the boss gets bigger and the time to prepare for the attack is shorter. The boss still has the bombardment attack and dash, but also 3 new attacks. Instead of uppercut the boss will perform now the combo of 3 attacks. This combo is probably the most dangerous attack, but it can be easily avoided by peering which is really hard for this attack, or you can just do 2 rolls and 2 jumps. On the first attack of the combo roll behind the boss, then perform 2 jumps to avoid the second attack and then roll behind the boss. That's pretty much all you need to avoid it. Another new attack is smash, when the boss jumps and lands back on the ground creating some stone spikes that will damage you. It can be avoided by being far away from the boss or jumping two times right before the attack. Or you can just use the ice platform. The last new attack is flags. The hand of the king puts some flags on the ground that after time explodes. The simplest attack that can be avoided just by destroying these flags which have no more than 1 HP. The third phase should be the hardest, but in fact it's definitely not harder than the second one. All the attacks are the same except for the smash and dash. The dash now is doubled, so basically after one performed dash in one direction, the boss will perform dash into another one, and the attack can be easily avoided by rolling two times. So nothing hard. The smash has now changed a little bit, the boss is charging the attack longer than it was and after smashing the ground the spikes will cover all the ground and the spikes will be dangerous for a longer period of time. The most simple way to avoid it is to jump on the ice platform right before the attack and after that jump away from the ice platform when it destroys. So that's it guys, I hope that now you'll be able to destroy Hand of the King flawlessly. Don't forget to check out this video where I explain one of the best builds in Dead Cells. Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and write a comment under the video. See you guys in another one.